Mars is without a doubt the main objective of our current decade. We want to land there smoothly at any cost and build a colony there. Elon Musk believes that the Mars colony will be operational by 2050. Several space agencies around the world are preparing for the Mars mission in the future. Surprisingly China want to get there this year. China plans to launch its first solo interplanetary mission in July, but the global pandemic that has engulfed the world has severely hampered and slowed down activities in the country. Which naturally raises the question. Will the pandemic prevent China from launching into Mars? The answer is no, not yet. Chinese authorities took a series of travel measures and quarantine measures in January to stop the spread of the infection. The reason they did their lockdown procedures earlier this year compared to the rest of the world is that they were the place where the virus was first originated and then the infection spread to other countries. In this way, they were able to establish procedures to try to keep their country in lockdowns and curfews. At the moment, the situation appears to be favorable for the Chinese mission to Mars, which is to send an orbiter and a rover to the Red Planet. Work at facilities dedicated to manufacturing and testing spacecraft and launch vehicles has continued despite the impact on the workforce. Wenchang, the new Chinese coastal spaceport on Hainan Island, is preparing to launch two new rockets. One of them will test a new spacecraft with the crew and make a space station in Earth's orbit. This is a piece of good news for the Chinese mission to Mars, which will depart Wenchang in July. The massive March 5 rocket that launched the mission on March 5 resumed in December. The previous launch in July 2017 failed, leaving the missile still for more than two years. But things seem to be back for the next mission. This is good because the season in which the rocket will fire is one of the orbital synchronizers that reduce the distance between Earth and Mars. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. The Mars missile is making good progress with successful engine tests in January. The mission rover underwent space tests in late January. Despite the lack of official comment on the mission, the first expedition of China to Mars appears to be on the right track. China appears to be sticking to its 2020 launch plans. Given all the events in the world, this would be an achievement. Still, it would be a great victory for the nation which frankly was a little quiet compared to other space agencies in their desire to colonize Mars. But if this plan works and they can reach their orbit and rover on Mars, this could put them in a great race to get to Mars first. The Chinese mission to Mars has a very simple goal with their rover and orbital. Mainly, they're going to go and scan parts of the area for signs of life. So in short, China is trying to be the first nation to discover life on Mars. Which I know sounds odd, because the United States has had numerous rovers on Mars, including one there right now, still chugging along, but the fact of the matter is the rovers that have been on the surface so far haven't covered every place on Mars. The planet is still very much a mystery in terms of its composition and the elements, which we may find if we dig it using mining tools. So, by China going and trying to put their rover in a spot that is new in terms of landings and looking for signs of life, they are truly shooting for the stars, which is fine because any new scientific discoveries are welcome. Especially if they lead to big revelations and potential big news about what it would be like to live on Mars. Which again, is the goal of most space agencies right now as one of the next true orbital sinks will be used in order to get people, and not rovers, to Mars. Now, you might be remembering that at the beginning of this video we noted that this was a secret China mission. What did we mean by that? Well China hasn't really talked about their mission to Mars. There have been recent articles about it, but very few have come from the Chinese government themselves. The reason for this is likely political. You see, the United States is apparently also aiming to launch an orbital or another craft to Mars around July 2020, just like China. Which in a way would make this like a new version of the space race that captured the hearts and minds of the world in the 1960s. So by keeping it under wraps, perhaps China is aiming to get an edge on things over the US. If China was to make it to Mars and discover something big, that would be a huge boost for them and a potential major blow for the US. And you thought that space was a universal thing that bound us together?
Nope, it can be something that is used for political gains. However, imagine what would happen if the United States and the other space agencies came together in order to make the Mars colonization work. Bringing together all of our specialties and gifts and technologies to make it work smoother? Elon Musk in a way is already building to that because while SpaceX is located on American soil, it's made up of some of the best and brightest across the world, and he's already promised certain international people a right on some of his craft including a billionaire from Japan who wants to circle the moon. So if the world was to come together in order to make the Mars colony real, it could be a huge thing. SpaceX has a plan to launch multiple ships into space to get to Mars when the time comes, but they'll still be restricted during those periods. However, if China, Russia, Europe, and Japan also launched crafts into space alongside them, then suddenly we have a fleet of craft going to Mars and trying to build a colony. Everyone in the space industry is looking to Mars as the goal for the decade and beyond. We all want to find out more about the planet so that we can start to colonize it. And these launches, these secret missions, and more are just the next steps towards that goal. But eventually, to truly make life possible on Mars, we'll have to come together as a planet to make it work, else it'll be unfeasible, or at the very least, take a very long time to happen. But for now, all we can do is watch and wait and see how missions like NASA's and China's go. That way we'll slowly take the next steps towards being a race on two different worlds.